Hey friends! My name is Desiree aka Mama Friendly and I do all sorts of videos on my channel. I do cooking videos, planner videos, hauls, vlogs, homeschool videos with a Disney twist, a little bit of everything. So if any of these things sound like fun to you, I hope that you will subscribe and join me on my little YouTube adventure. Today's video is a special collab hosted by my friend Valerie at The Hargit Life. I'm going to be posting a link to her channel in the description box of this video along with a playlist link so that once you're finished watching my video, you can head down to that playlist and see what all of my friends made. This collab is a bake sale theme. And usually when I think bake sale, I think handheld treats like cookies, brownies, cupcakes even. But me, I don't like doing what everybody else does. <laughs> so I decided I was gonna make pistachio cake. It's a butt cake and I mean, if you were going to sell it at a bake sale, you could definitely pre-slice it and just sell the slices. So it's not completely outside the theme. Plus I'm sure if you tried, you could just kind of tweak the baking times a little bit and make them into cupcakes if you wanted. So think of this more of like a framework <laughs> than anything else for a bake sale type recipe or hey, follow me along going against the grain. We're making a cake today. I really like making this cake recipe because it's very easy but looks very impressive. And my family really likes the recipe because it's delicious. My husband does not like cake and this is the one cake that he requests for his birthday. So come along with me and let me show you how I make my family's favorite pistachio pudding cake. All right, friends, you all know I like to start my recipe videos with sharing your ingredient list, and here it actually is, but uh, you can, I guess, screenshot if you want. This is what you're gonna need for the cake. We need our box of yellow cake mix. I'm using the Betty Crocker 15 ounce. You're also gonna need a package of instant pistachio pudding mix, the 3.4 ounce pack, four large eggs, a cup of milk, half a cup or one stick of unsalted butter. I use salted for everything. It's what I have, so that's what I used. You need it melted and cooled. Plus you need some more for greasing your pan, unless you're gonna use Pam, which is what I did. You also need a half cup of chopped pistachios. So to start, I'm going to put my whole stick of butter into this microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna microwave it, and then I'm going to set it aside to cool down so I can use it later. I'm also, as I mentioned earlier, greasing my silicone bunt pan so that it's ready to go when my batter is. Here's my butter just out of the microwave. I'm just whisking it a little bit so that those solid bits finish melting into the liquid bit and I can set this aside. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare everything else to give it a chance to cool down. So in a large bowl, I'm gonna whisk together my cake mix and my pudding mix. Once our dry ingredients are combined, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cup of milk, my half cup of melted butter, my four eggs, and we're gonna beat on medium until everything is well combined. I didn't wanna dirty one more thing, so I left the hand mixer aside and we're just going analog with this. The last thing we need for this batter is a half cup of chopped pistachios. Do these come without their shell because this was definitely the least fun part, <laughs> the most tedious part. Um, my fingers hurt after this, but I did manage to get a half cup of pistachios. I just very roughly chopped them and mixed them into the batter. Now that our batter is ready to go, we're going to spoon it into our silicone bunt pan and try to smooth out the top with a spatula. You need to put this into your oven, which has been preheated to 350 degrees, and cook it until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. The recipe says 40 to 45 minutes. Honestly, mine took about an hour, and the middle bit was still damp. Like, the toothpick would come out clean, but the middle was 
just straight up wet. My family did not seem to mind, um, but keep that in mind. Also notice that I'm using a silicone pan, but I have it on a metal tray to help stabilize because it's easy to move now, but when it's hot, not so much. Unfortunately, the SD card that I used to record this video corrupted, and so I lost the footage of me making the icing. Here I am turning the cake out onto the plate. Came out a little lopsided, but still very pretty. Uh, the icing, you're gonna need two cups of confectioner's sugar, two tablespoons of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then you could top it with a quarter teaspoon of finely chopped pistachios as a garnish if you wish. I left that step out mostly because I didn't want to keep shelling pistachios. My husband did think that the icing was a little gritty. As you can see, it did come out quite thick. So I would probably maybe even half the amount of confectioner's sugar. I liked the consistency as far as pourability, and it came out very, very pretty. But I was told that it did eat a little gritty. So do with that information what you will. But here's the finished cake. My family absolutely loved it. And as you can see, it's definitely pretty enough to adorn any bake sale table. All right, friends, that's gonna do it for this recipe. The inside of the cake never really seemed to set up properly, but I think maybe the pudding just made the whole batter so moist. I hate that word, but it makes sense when you're talking about a cake. That it just never quite firmed up. However, even all that being said, my family could not get enough of this cake. I think it was gone within like 36 hours. And I couldn't help because it's gluten and dairy and I don't eat gluten and dairy. My husband actually preferred the too moist part. It was also my first time using that silicone bunt pan. I usually use a metal one, but the metal one tends to stick. So I figured, aha, silicone, silicone won't stick. But maybe that also affected the cooking time. Either way, looked a mess my family loved it if you do this recipe i'd love for you to tell me how you tweaked it to make it your own to maybe not make it so moist or maybe the moist is just fine for you like it was for my family either way let me know all about it in the comments and remember this is a playlist collab so go check out that playlist now that you're done with my recipe and see what all my other friends put together for their bake sale I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.